This is the Ironicist, uh, muttering into the endless void of the internet with a new video in uh, celebration, acknowledgement, something of uh, the fact that uh, Luke Cage Season 2 is out on Netflix and there's also been released a rather nice uh, a Gang Turf War mod, which I thought I would take the two together and put a bulletproof Luke Cage on a one-man rampage through Los Santos to take the streets back. So I've already locked and loaded the uh, Gang and Turf mod. You'll see if we look on the map here, all of these little yellow territories are my turf. And we should be seeing rivals. I think I may just need to tweak the settings one moment. Or possibly I've already won, in which case this will be a really short video. Oh, no, I've definitely not won. Okay, so all these grey and blue and other colory uh, places, the white's unclaimed, the purple is, I'm not sure, I haven't actually killed anybody from that gang yet, um, but the grey is the iron dealers, um, who are an exciting um, metallurgy company who also do a little like drug dealing. So what I'm going to do is uh, pick a nice uh, inner city, inner, inner city any inner city like environment in which to uh, go and uh, bust some heads. I think uh, this is Franklin's old neighborhood of memory serves, so this is probably the closest occupied territory. I think that's still more city central than um, Harlem, but it'll it'll do for the purposes of this. So we teleport over there. You can see at the moment I'm still. Uh, playing as Franklin, uh, because you need to be able to spend money as a player character to kick off a, ga gun, a gang, a good gang gun war. Uh, just like in real life, you must speculate to accumulate, be it bullets or a criminal empire. And unfortunately, if you're not using a, a player model, the mod doesn't recognize that you actually have money. So I am... Um, I'm in the Pillbox Hill. Oh, it's not the iron, deal iron Dealers, in fact. It's the Chinese Cats, those little wavy cats. Well, that's just creepy as shit, so I'd better kill them all. Take current zone. Yes, I will. Um, light, medium, large, or massive. You know, I think 256 against 32 plus a bulletproof superhero is unsporting. So let's do the lightest attack we can. Oh no, the Chinese Cats are coming. I just activated the uh, super hot mod to give myself a, a bit of time to change up my model and various other things without being inconveniently shot to death by all the gang gang bangers I've just provoked. Here is the uh, Luke Cage Netflix style uh, model, which looks pretty funky. And to simulate the bulletproof man experience, I'm going with the Superman mod, though I am going to leave out the less Nick Cagey bits of it, like the laser eyes and ability to fly. Maybe he has those powers too and just doesn't use them, just to be fair. Um, here we go. There's a man in a suit with a gun. He must be a criminal. Now, just like in Netflix, I will use the time-honored plan of walking slowly towards someone while being bulletproof. In fact, no, they don't seem to be able to hit me at the moment. I think everybody's high on their own supply, because I'm not even getting any good ricochet. There we go, some good ricochets. Now we have the Nick, uh, Nick Cage, no, not the Nick Cage experience. The Nick Cage experiences of watching a career slowly implode over years. The Luke Cage experience of being bulletproof, fighting a deeply unfair fight against gangbangs. But we can see that the uh, NPCs in GTA 5 are way smarter than the... Um, the main character, not the main characters, the supporting characters of Luke Cage's show, because th look at that guy, he's just running backwards shooting at me while I walk dramatically forwards. And the problem with walking dramatically forwards is it's not as fast as running backwards. So in theory they can just run away <laughs> from Luke Cage, because you know, he's got to get his macho swagger on. In the interest of expedience, let's just do a little light football tackle. Boom. Sucks to be you, sir. Currently, their odds are 29 Chinese cats to my 31 gangbangers I haven't bothered to name. 
but we will consider at this point to just be concerned citizens of Harlem, helping Luke Cage out by entirely legally picking up a gun and shooting up the streets for civil development reasons. Uh, oh no! He's behind a fence! Oops, I seem to have activated flux. However, will Luke Cage get to him if he's behind a fence? Yeah, that'll work. I seem to have also got to another guy, most of the fence, and some street lights. It's all in the spirit of uh, inner city renewal. Opinions are somewhat divided on the uh, Netflix uh, Marvel series. Some of them are awesome, some of them are crap. Uh, Alright, some of them are awesome and some of them are Iron Fist, <laughs> let's put it another way. Uh, it is sometimes a little bit weird though that like, they do exist in a continuous universe but they also sort of don't. I mean, Civil War happens and Tony Stark goes all the way out of his way to hire the disguised teenager with spider powers and doesn't bother to hire the bulletproof black man who literally in Season 2 has an app that tells everyone where he is at any given moment. Also, I don't even know how this works. Does he Has he signed the accords that were part of Civil War? They're just kind of like, yeah, look, I mean, as long as he doesn't actually invade a foreign country, as long as he's just beating up other black people, it doesn't really count. I know there are a lot of good racially charged jokes that I, I can't make um, because it would just be unsporting and it would set the internet on fire. Also, this mod that I was just praising has crashed, and now everyone is just kind of walking around going, that was awkward. Sorry, we'll be fighting. No, we're not fighting. Nothing to see here. I think obviously someone called in that the cops were on their way, though noticeably the cops are not. Okay, uh, let's just refresh this. In the meantime, let's continue our completely unsolicited critique of the Netflix uh, superhero lineup. Because I've got to ask, the whole series, uh, The Defenders, I mean, you've got Luke Cage with his super strength and he's being bulletproof and... Um, generally a pretty mean power set. Then you have uh, Daredevil, whose power is being blind and kung fu. And we have um, Jessica Jones, whose power is drinking and punching people, but mainly drinking. Um, and then Danny Rand, whose power is being a douche. Um, you may have gathered I'm not a huge Danny Rand fan, like everyone who has ever seen the series ever. But anyway, I mean, I don't understand why they didn't just, you know, they're fighting all these super evil ninjas, and why doesn't everyone else just fuck off home and let Luke Cage do it all? Because, I mean, what are they going to do? Get some amazing armor-piercing uh, shuriken? Should just be, you know, like, seriously, Daredevil's going, uh, I could die at any moment. I spent my entire first season basically getting beaten slowly to a pulp. I'm just going to go and take the night off. You, you deal with this. But nope, for some reason, um, he's part of the same super team. It just, it feels unsporting, you know, I mean, at least the, uh, the Avengers, you know, they've got the Hulk, they've got some characters who are more or less powerful than the rest, but with the obvious exception of Hawkeye, whose superpower is having a bow, um, they're reasonably balanced. Okay, uh, Black Widow's superpower is also, um, being a redhead. But, you know, at least they're, you know, they're supposed to be super trained secret agents, and they're fairly open with the fact that, like, they're not on the same scale. But no, in Defenders, everyone kind of hangs around like they're all reasonably equal powered. I mean, you know, they should be having big mass fights, and it should just be like, the rest of the characters punch one or two guys, meanwhile Luke Cage deals with the other 38. Maybe it's just because he walks too slow. I mean, he's doing his slow macho walk everywhere and everyone else is just, oh, for God's sake, this is taking forever. I will risk life and limb to kill people because I just can't face waiting while Luke Cage struts up to them and beats their asses. Uh, regardless, um, the series did well enough to uh, merit a season two. Uh, when people asked me to describe Luke Cage season one, I just said, it's the wire one of the characters happens to be bulletproof, because that's really how it felt. You know, he was just one of a large cast of um, gangbangers and drug dealers and well-intentioned people and ill-intentioned people and old black men who will get shot to death in the first episode. Spoiler alert. Um, but... Regardless, uh, 
it did well enough to, to merit a second season. And... Let's see. Oh yes, the gang. Sorry, for a moment I thought the gang war had crashed just because no one was shooting at me enough. Maybe that was just a sensible choice. They were like, I'll just shoot at your friends. And I guess the thing really is that in Luke Cage, the enemy aren't actually supposed to be the gangbangers. You know, it's supposed to be sort of the. Oh my God, does that does that guy have like a, a musket? Wow, I feel bad for this gang. They've fallen on bad times. Got a bulletproof man beating them to death, and they don't even have weapons from this century. Anyway, but my point that I'm getting at is that Luke Cage's enemies aren't really, you know, like, gangbangers. It's more sort of societal, you know, he's fighting poverty and inner city issues and so forth. And the funny thing is, you know, you can't punch poverty. Like, I'm gonna punch unemployment so hard, I'm just gonna punch my way to, to success. But in the, the same kind of thing, if, if that's the underlying uh, message of... Luke Cage as a superhero is you can't just punch your way through all of life's problems. Doesn't that kind of devalue like everybody else? I mean, their Daredevil is sort of risking his life every night. I know I go back to Daredevil just because I think it's the best series, like the most of the universe. But you know, and everyone else is sort of, well, that's great, but you haven't really solved the societal problems of drug addiction and income inequality, so you might as well not really bother. Also, have you got an app yet? Because Luke Cage has got an app. It's not that hard. I mean, everywhere's got an app. You can get an app for a Chinese takeaway place. Come on, man. Anyway, I don't know why the guy critiquing um, Daredevil's uh, marketing strategy was particularly British, as opposed to just my level of vaguely British, but um, he was. I'm in a bit of a race here, a race called Can I Win This Gang War Before the App Crashes Again for reasons I don't fully understand. So. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm sorry. I hope that car belonged to a criminal. It was an SUV. It either belonged to a criminal or a soccer mom. Either way, they deserved it. It's still weird that this mod turns off the cops. I understand why. I mean, I think it might get a bit much of the cops all here, too. But it's just like everyone else sort of... Uh-oh, -oh, there's a gang war. Damn it. I guess I'll take 49th instead. Nah, don't call the police. They'll all kill each other to death soon enough. Speaking of killing each other to death, six to go, and this neighborhood will be mine. Mine. For urban renewal reasons, of course. Don't worry, that truck had a criminal in it. I could tell from the map it was an evil truck. See? Criminal. He's got dreadlocks. He must be a criminal. If this gang is called the Chinese Cats, why do the gang members look sort of... Rastafarian, and there's a white dude in a suit. In fact, I haven't seen a single Chinese person in this Chinese cat's gang. I think there's a branding issue here. Not to worry, though, my legitimate Harlem uh, citizens, my neighborhood watch with uh, machine guns, AK-47s, in fact, have almost solved the problems of poverty in this particular neighborhood. One more to go. And... Oh, I didn't quite kill him. Poverty solved! And suddenly the police have realized there's a crime happening here. So like I said, uh, flying isn't really super, uh, super manny. Pun not intended. So I'll switch over to another mod for the purposes of Luke Cagering my way out of here. This is also uh, bulletproof, the psychokinetic mod. I'm going to turn off the less desirable features, like flight. Unfortunately, you can't turn off Superman's flight. It's always automatic. Uh, and obviously, his less uh, Luke Cagey powers, like uh, telekinesis and stuff, I just won't be using. What is quite Luke Cage appropriate is the, uh, the super jump, which I've forgotten to turn on. Uh, hang on. There we go. This should work now, shouldn't it? Oh, super jump off. I'm just stuffing this up. There we go. Okay. Come on. Come on. See, now that was underwhelming. No jump. Top of the building, Luke. Top of the building. Luke, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me in front of the internet. Okay. Smaller building, Luke. You can do it. Okay. Usually this works better. I... I'm just going to run away from the police. Like any uh, 
good black man when the police arrive and I'm wearing a hoodie, I'm just running the hell away. The difference is when they shoot me in the back for vigorously fleeing, nothing really happens. Um, let me see, maybe I can get the jump to work better. There we go. That's more, you know, I've got superpower and I'm a walking piece of collateral damage. But at least I'm not damaging the streets, I'm damaging the rules, and those probably belong to, you know, evil corporations. That was probably an evil air conditioner. Yes, Megacorp, you will be uncomfortably warm today. So yeah, it's not the most subtle way of getting around, but the advantage is, on a two stars, the police don't have helicopters. So basically now I can just sort of hang out and wait for the heat to die down, as it just did. Um, let me get back down to ground level, hopefully a little bit more gently. Uh, wait a second, so I'm just going to turn one thing off. If I don't turn the dramatic off, I, when I hit the ground I will do it in a very sort of cool telekinetic way that makes no sense for the character. For stuff. Wow, that was anticlimactic. No crunch. Anyway, psychokinetic. Good for running away from the cops in an in-character way. Less appropriate for the whole Luke Cage experience. So let's bring back Super Cage! Having shown that really, much like, well, the Netflix show has shown, it's just not fair to have gangbangers uh, fighting Luke Cage. Also, I see as if in reaction to that, the mod has crashed again. You know I said the mod's really good? It is, it just seems to conflict with something a lot. The important thing is to win your gang wars fast before the the system breaks. But anyway, let me try and find a, a hero more... an enemy, rather, more worthy of Luke Cage's power level. And I guess, if we're saying that Luke Cage's enemies aren't really gangbangers because it's just not fair, they're societal issues, then maybe he should just fight the embodiment of rich white privilege Tony Stark. In fact, I mean, let's be honest, this is probably why Tony Stark didn't um, recruit him in Civil War, just probably he did show up in his suit and his sports car and Luke Cage was just, uh, hell no. Hell no. I'm giving Iron Man the Hulkbuster armor because that seems like the kind of thing he would use if facing a Luke Cage level threat and I can see him making his way towards me. Hello, how are you doing? Have you come to talk to me about the po poverty in the inner city? Nope, nope, there I was. I was just walking while black, and a dude with a, with a robot suit kind of smashed into me. This sort of thing happens to you all the time. Now the trick is I'm, I'm not using my flight, because my flight is not super in character. Where is he? He's, oh, he's way above me. But you see, the problem is, of course, because I'm not using my flight because it's not super in character, Iron Man is totally allowed to use his flight because it's super in character. So I do have to try and make sure I... Oh, I've killed him to death. Wow, fighting poverty was easier than I thought, if poverty and income inequality were represented by a dude in a robot suit. Ah, uh, solving society's problems, one punching at a time. Uh, so, that having been a bit of a one-sided uh, slaughter fest, I guess I will give uh, one last character a chance against the Mighty Cage. Oh no, I'm flying again by mistake. Uh, and that character, I doubt, will surprise any of you. So can you guess which character it is? Ah, uh, if you've watched any of my videos ever at this point, you really shouldn't be too surprised. Because after all, I can see um, Luke Cage sitting out Civil War. I mean, he's not going to pick Tony Stark's side because 1% are holy cow white privilege, and Captain America seems like a great guy and all, but he was born in the 19... what was it? 30s it would have been, I guess? Um, and, you know, I mean, Rosa Park hadn't even sat on a bus um, until, I think it's 1955. So, it's probably like, you seem like a cool dude, but you come from an era that might, you know, maybe Captain America's a secret racist. Actually, no, wait a second, he can't be. He's, he's, got, a, he's got one black friend. He's got one black friend who can fly. 
Oh, as a side point, um, my gang used Quinjets because I felt that was uh, scenario appropriate. But anyway, he might sit out Civil War, but I mean, Infinity War, come on. I mean, Thanos wants to kill 50% of the universe. That does include 50% of Harlem. I think Luke Cage would get involved. So let's see Luke Cage versus Thanos. Oh, you're blowing up cars just like I do. That's wrong. Very wrong. Oh, your teleportation was not a move I expected. Gangbangers do not usually do that. Gangbangers don't do that either. Oh, okay. I almost flew there, but I think I managed to sort of rescue it as a mowing character super jump thing. Oh, that stang. Come on, Thanos. Throw a car at me. No, wait, that's a meteor. Is that a meteor? I was not expecting a meteor. I really should have. I mean, it's been it's been a little while since I fought Thanos, but I shouldn't have forgotten all the meteors. Speaking of which, Thanos, um, paging Mr. O, there he is. It's one of those awkward, you know, hey, where's Thanos? Where's O? Oh, oh, there's Thanos. That's right, you take that punch to the face, and that other punch, followed by a punch. No, no more meteors. I'm wise to your tricks. Hey, oh, I'm sorry about that car. I was, it was for the universe, okay? I hope you were also a gangbanger. Oh no, wait a second, all the blips around here are yellow. Uh, <laughs> I like how all my Quinjets are just kind of hanging around, um, not actually doing anything, which is a bit disappointing, you know, like, I would be nice if they were getting involved in the battle for the fate of the universe, but I guess not. Oh, Thanos, you go so high. I have a horrible sinking feeling what's about to happen. If I can time this just right, did I time it just right? I did, I got off the ground. What is it? Are we just going to hop up and down and punch the ground until one of us gives up? Apparently the one of us who gives up is going to be me. Wow, that's cool. That's a big flaming liquor bus. No, oh boy. Hey, the turbines on the Quinjets are spinning. That's cool, apart from the fact that it's still not intervening in this fight to the death. I guess I'm pretty sure that the Gangs and Turfs mod did not anticipate Quinjets as one of your preferred units. So I, I have to forgive the mob, the mob designer, the mod designer, for not building into it. Also, apparently, Life drain powers are a bit like bullets. Whoa! What just happened? I'm standing on the air. I, I, I think I got a bit confused there as to whether or not I was flying. Um. Hey, Thanos! You can teleport. That's that's. Yeah, actually, you've got a lot more powers than I have. This is probably not going well. Oh, did he? He ran away. I have a feeling he's doing his patented jump, yep he is, his patented jump real high. Well, because originality is not necessarily my strong point, I can jump real high too. Oh my goodness, he turned me into rocks. For a moment, I was rocks. And then he threw a rock at me. There's just a general kind of rock theme thing going on here. Come on. Luke Cage only has half his health. Um, it turns out that Thanos is tougher to kill than a gangbanger. Raise your hand if you're surprised. So, you know, I mean, I would totally watch the shit out of, uh, Defenders Season 2 if it's like this, you know? And the rest of the Defenders, well, either they've already turned in for the day, or everyone else already just died in the first ten seconds of this fight. I mean, you didn't notice, but actually in the background, um, Dead Evil was incinerated about two seconds into this battle and a meteor fell on Jessica Jones and ooh, no, oh no he's just teleporting that sneaky teleporter as for Danny Rand uh, who really gives a crap you might ask uh, is this joke of ragging on Iron Fist not getting a little bit tired the answer is no it will never be tired uh, unless maybe they do Iron Fist season 2 um, and it doesn't suck, but I suspect the market has spoken in that regard. Did he run away? 
I, I think Thanos ran away. Or I killed him. And didn't notice. Thanos. Thanos. Oh, no, I, he didn't. He, he retreated for a little while. And now it's time for the pattern to jump. He can jump a lot higher than me. I'm having jumped at me. As a side point, you might be able to tell that I do have another mod, which is the executive mod, um, active in the background, which is why it keeps telling me that my stocks are increasing. Didn't you know Luke Cage has also diversified into investment management? I've got to say, I do... Oh, there we go. Oh, snap. Thanos. Come on, my stock value is naught. I just saved the universe, or at least half of it. Um, well, that's just the thankless life of a superhero, I suppose. Oh, and despite saving the universe, I am wanted by the police. So, on that entirely accurate portrayal of what would have happened if Luke Cage had been in Infinity War, which is to say he would have beat Thanos like a red-headed stepchild and then been arrested, we call it quits. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been the Ironicist, signing off. All right, homie. I feel and I guess if I have one last comment on Luke Cage, it would be that at the start of Luke Cage Season 2, you know, he's been around for a while, he's got his freaking app, and all the gangbangers are like, oh my god, Luke Cage, we can't stop Luke Cage. What the? Sorry, excuse me, apparently some people are trying to stop Luke Cage. Actually, this kind of demonstrates my point. But anyway, they're all, oh no, Luke Cage, he's bulletproof. Oh no. Um, you know, they even tried their special Judas bullets, and those don't even work anymore. Second season spoiler alert. That's a slight point if they're called Judas bullets. Shouldn't they only work if you shoot them in the back? I'm just putting it out there. But anyway, I mean, he's got an app that monitors his every movement, including, of course, his favorite lunch spot. So if he's got unbreakable skin, why don't you just poison the motherfucker? Exhibit A. I'm just saying. Thanks for watching.